Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome, welcome. Mahali popote ulipo karibu sana. Welcome. Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja. We are in Daniel chapter number 2. A very prophetic chapter. We are in Daniel chapter number 2. A very prophetic chapter. You cannot afford to miss Daniel chapter number 2. A prophetic chapter. So tunaangalia mambo mengi sana mahali pale. The image of Nebuchadnezzar and the stone that came down from the mountain and that stone was not cut with the human's head don't miss this one so karibu sana mahali popote ulipo thank you uh, names james rachel gradis karibu sana and help me to share tag your friend mwambie kuja tubarikiwe dani chapter number 2 we are in dani chapter number 2 tonight tunaendelea tabia ya karibu sana <laughs> thank you kwa wale bwana ingia thank you kwa wale bwana share god bless you so much kuna watu more na share <laughs> net mungai how are you doing <laughs> ah yes jane joyce karibu sana tag your friend create a watch party wacha tubarikiwe pamoja patricia bogo long time <laughs> ay 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 Evangelist Michael how is Zimmerman it what was Zimmerman tag them wapi wakuja tubarikiwa na Daniel chapter number 2 Yes 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 Daniel chapter number 2 You can tag your friend you can share wacha tubarikiwa na Daniel chapter number 2 it is such a chapter and chapter kari sana aha ya maajabu sana in the name of Jesus Yeah, so you can create a watch party, you can share, you can tag, you can tag now. Alafu tuendele vizuri, alafu tuendele vizuri. Yes. Kajonito. <laughs> Karibu sana Kajonito. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, help me to share, help me to share. Help me to share, help me to share. Yes na na grade sanaita watu hapa tag your friend and create a watch party share kwa zile groups unaweza wacha Mungu wa tunene usiku wa leo kwa jia ya kimaajabu sana in the name of Jesus ah my 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 karibu sana karibu sana win maina karibu sana karibu sana win maina niambie uko wapi niambie uko wapi Niambie uko wapi? Ari naona lakini niambie kwa Ruiru. <laughs> niambie uko wapi? Alafu if I would share you can share now. Alafu tusome pamoja. In Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. What a night. Daniel chapter number 2 is a very interesting chapter. It is a prophetic chapter. Nani chapter itajenga maisha yako? Your life will never be the same again after listening to this. Hey, <laughs> Nico di Master. Uh, leo na kuona umekaribia sana. <laughs> Patricia nasema kwa bora ile meshea. Niambie kana kwa umeshea. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Asante <laughs> hey, kwa wale bwana tag watu wale wengine wanawaita. Sana kwa sababu unafanya kazi mzuri sana. Share to those groups. Wacha utumike kuhubiri jiri. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Yorada how are you doing? Aha. Brayo umeshia kwa groups gapi? Eh. <laughs> uh, naona kuna watu ambao bado waja share. Naona hapa. <laughs> bado waja share. Ah. <laughs> uh, Yes. Yes. Karibu sana, karibu sana, karibu sana. Help me to share, help me to share. Ukishia mapema it is very important. Ili tuanzie pamoja. In the book of Daniel. 
Oh, ni msa, I agree. Anaweza <laughs> kama anasema kama amefanya part yake. Eh. Yeye ana sawa kama baribarikiwa na Sunday Simon. <laughs> wow, wow. Glory to God. Ya Sunday itakuwa moto. <laughs> Come in Sunday itakuwa moto. I don't miss that one. <laughs> Tuko Daniel chapter number 2, Daniel chapter number 2. Daniel chapter number 2 Daniel chapter number 2 Don't miss this one Don't miss this one Oh my good God Daniel chapter number 2 Oh Ni wakati gani sana Grand anambia kwa bodi ameshia <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, oh, God is mine na kubaliana na sema kwamba it was great. <laughs> Sara mimi karibu sana karibu sana. Uh, so uh, umeshea umeshea I have come uh, three minutes to go. We start we have come three minutes. We are done your we are in the Daniel chapter number 2. Daniel chapter number 2 don't miss this one. Daniel chapter number 2 it is a prophetic chapter. It is such a chapter by the way utajengwa kwa life yako na kuna mambo mingi sana tutaongea pale yatafungua maisha yako in a mighty way na maisha yako yatakuwa ya kawaida tena e, nani sasa kama wamepotelea wapi <laughs> get out umeingia tu sasa hii pasamuli how is the dominion city are you still preaching there at zima man najua sasa watu wamechange sana <laughs> pasamuli na kukubusha watu room number one share tu <laughs> Ah, for two groups sisi kana kama kuna mtu anafikisha hizo hapa i want two groups i like that one na baada hiyo faith ya ya pasamulizi hapo yeah this man na sawa kwa sasa sawa ni asante nilikuwa ufupi sana unajua umezoea two hours so ni kiubiri that minute kwa church kwa sababu tuna keep one hour <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, niona watu wengi sana wamecomplain juu ya Sunday. <laughs> Tutaangalia vile tutakuwa tunafanya Sundays. Yeah, bora goni how are you doing? Karibu sana. Asante kwa listening carefully. Yeah, Daniel chapter uh, number 2 ni kali sana na lazima tuichambue. Appreciate. <laughs> Karibu sana. So kwa dakika moja if you just share share now if you just tag him to tag now uh, if you just create or just party create now maana ke 1 minute to go sane naanza tuanze exactly sane kabisa then we go uh, i like daniel i like daniel I like daniel napenda sana daniel chapter number 2 there are so many lessons we can learn there mhm mhm Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Elejino idaka karibu sana, karibu sana. Sana exactly tunaanza. Ah, Saratoni karibu sana Magimuroki. Karibu sana watu wa Seattle. Watu wa UK, watu wa Germany, watu wa Sweden, <laughs> watu wa Greece, Israel, Botswana, South Africa, watu wa County ya Nairobi, Nakuru, Moranga, where are you? Don't miss. <laughs> ay ay ay. There we go. Aha. Baba katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo tunakupa sifa na tunakuinua. Tunaamini kwamba ni wewe huo na nina nasi. Tunaamini kwamba ni wewe tegemeo Bwana. Tunaamini kwamba neno la kwamba habari na wewe na nguvu. Ni wewe mwanzo Bwana ni tena ni wewe mwisho. Ni wewe baba ulikufa kwa ajili yetu. Ukazikwa na ukafufuka. 
ili baba tukombolewe tunafurahia baba kazi yako ya msalaba tunafurahia baba matendo yako makubwa tunafurahia zile nguvu zako ndani ya maisha yetu tunafurahia baba Mungu roho wako mtakatifu ndani ya maisha yetu asante maana kabla mwetu pigania vita unasema kwamba vita vita baba sio vyetu vita baba ni vyako niwe baba unapigana niwe baba unatuona kania ni wewe jia kwetu ni wewe baba ukweli kwetu na kwa hakika father we have seen you doing we have seen your deliverance o lord We have seen the miracles day and night. Tumeona baba kujifunua kwetu kupitia baba kwa neno lako. Tumeona baba unajifunua, tunakujua zaidi kupitia kwa neno lako. Tunajua ukweli na baba wakati baba tunajua ukweli, tunazima baba kuwe kwa huru na ule ukweli. Tunaamini baba usiku leo ni usiku kimaajabu. Tunaposoma kitabu cha Danieli mlango wa pili bwana, tunaamini kwamba maisha yetu hayatakuwa ya kawaida tena. Tunaamini kwamba maisha yetu yanabadilishwa bwana. Tunaamini kwamba maisha yetu yanageuzwa bwana unafanya umpia mawazo yetu tunazidi kupokea moyo wako tunazidi kupokea mawazo yako in jesus mighty name shetani hauna uwezo ulishindwa pale kwa msalaba na uko chini ya miguu yetu na mitego yako yote na mipango yako yote imeshindwa in the name of the lord jesus christ we declare father tonight the manifestation of the glory of god we declare tonight the manifestation of your healing oh lord wale ambao baba ni wagonjwa natangazwa wamepona wale ambao kwa chini baba umeinuliwa wale baba anahitaji milango hiyo ifungukie fadha imefunguka in Jesus name wale baba anahitaji baba Mungu akujue zaidi baba atazidi kukujua through your word in Jesus mighty name father i scatter mipango yote mibaya i scatter mipango yote ya kishetani i scatter mipango yote ya kiriminati i scatter agenda zote mbaya hata kwa taifa hata kwa mataifa bwana i scatter agenda zote mbaya in Jesus mighty name wewe baba ni kwa mchanga wewe baba ni kwa anga ajali zote mbaya tumezikataa prima sure death tumekataa roho ya kifo tumeikataa kwa familia zetu kwa wapendo wetu kwa relatives of the law baba tumekataa prima sure death in jesus mighty name we declare hata baba kukiwa kuna covid 19 you are still reigning father bado unatawara bado baba unatawara kwa maisha yetu baba unatawara we declare in the name of the lord jesus christ atutowaishindwa hata siku moja hatutowairemewa hata siku moja ndoa zetu zitasimama watoto wetu watasimama father we command covid 19 powerless tume declare haina nguvu kwa familia zetu tumetangaza haina nguvu kwa mataifa yetu bwana Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus. Tume declare mipango yote mibaya haina nguvu. Tume tangaza mipango yote kishetani haina nguvu. Tume declare Jehovah God ni wewe unaweza. Ni wewe baba unatawara, ni wewe baba unatenda makubwa na majabu. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na tume tangaza Jehovah God, hakuna kifungo kinaweza tukaribia. Maana baba kazi yako msalaba umetufungua. Fadha kazi yako msalaba umetufungua. We carry the power of resurrection we carry the power of resurrection we declare the power of the blood of Jesus Christ we declare the power of the blood of Jesus Christ we declare the power of the blood of Jesus Christ we declare the power of the blood of Jesus Christ asante kwa wale bwana fuatilia haya mafundisho bwana let your grace flow Let your grace flow. Let your grace flow. Let your grace flow, God. Let there be favor upon them, Lord. Let there be favor to hover go. Hawawezi wakakataliwa. Whether ni kibiashara, whether ni kidoa, whether ni kifeda, hawawezi wakataliwa. Hawawezi wakataliwa Jehovah go. Manake unaweza na unatenda. Na tumekupa sifa na tumekuinua. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tunaomba na hata kuamini. Amen 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 Glory be to Jesus Yes <laughs> Ah Karibu sana Karibu sana karibu sana Kwa usiku wa leo ili tubarikiwe pamoja asante kwa wale bwana ingia asante kwa wale bwana alika watu asante kwa wale bwana msaidia hata kushare god bless you so much may the grace of god manifest in your life it is not in vain kusaidia watu wa juu kweli it is not in vain people may not understand it 
But let me tell you, kuna kitu wakina fanyika in the spiritual world. Na hata kwa maisha kwa kiroho, kuna mabu huwa natendeka. The grace, the grace in a manifest kwako. Na una move from one level to another. From one dimension to another. In a mighty way. So we are in Daniel chapter number two. We are in Daniel chapter number two. Na in the book of Daniel kuna mabu taina kuyatambua hapa. Tuwana vini mungu nasema. So angaria Daniel chapter number two verse number one. Verse number one. I know tonight is a prophetic night kwa sababu kuna mambo hapa mazito ambayo yananijenga sana. Any time I read chapter number 2, inanipea nguvu sana. Ah, the Bible says in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar. What I read verse number 1 again. In the second year of his reign, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. Can you hear that? He had dreams. Aha. His mind was troubled. He could not sleep. Imagine. Mwakawako apiri kutawara. The Bible says he had a dream. Kasaba mungu huwa na nena na ndoto. This king was not born again. Baru kusoma kwa baibu alipuenda kwa kitanda. Alianza kujisumbua. In fact, mina sama kwa alianza kufikilia. Yari ya mambo ya takuja kutendeka. Na wakati liwezo kufikiri na mabu watakuja kutandeka Mungu wakaona vile na fikiri about the future Na because of that Mungu wakampea doto Na hile doto likuwa na muanyesha Yare mabu watakuja kutandeka Yaya si kuomba likuwa na mabu pana Ni kufikiria tu likuwa na fikiria Na katika hile mafikila yake Mungu wakanza kumtandea Mungu wakanza tu kumletea doto Kumuanyesha Yare mabu watakuja kutandeka Imagine Anawaza tu. That's why I love my God. Kwa mana na eza tenda biyod. Ata vile unafikiria. E anafikiria tu. Mana katika hini halakani kufikiria. Aka pewa ndoto. Uswai the raw dreams. Mana ke God speaks even through dreams. God speaks through visions. I know there are people. Mana sama pana. God does not speak. Let me tell you, but God speaks through dreams and visions. That's why here, to the Nakoba Mfalme, who was not born again, who was not a Christian, Muga Mpia dream, Nere dream, Ime Beba Mabumingi Sana, Kuanzia Wakatiwake, Paka Wakatiwa Antichrist. Maneke, your dream here, chapter number two, Ime Onge Kuanzia Time Yake, Paka Tamiya Antichrist. Taguene Shokobaibo, very interesting. Angari verse number two. Aha. So the king summoned the magicians, enchanters, the sorcerers, and the sorogers to tell him what he had dreamed. Akaita vitengo ine pale, vikuje vimwambie ile ndoto wa meota. Imagine, hakuwa ambia ndoto. Hakuwa ambia ndoto, maria meabia sorogers, sorcerers, enchanters, magicians. Sita mpia hile dream ni meota. Muna famu ni ambia vile ni meota. Not only that. Muna ipa interpretation ya that dream. Iyo likuwa ni mtihani mgumu sana. Then by when someone wakani. When they came in and stood before the king. He said to them. I have had a dream that troubles me. And I want to know what it means. Verse number four. Then astrologers answered the king in Aramic. O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream. We will interpret it. The king replied to astrologers, This is what I have firmly decided. If you do not tell me what my dream was and interpret it, I will have you cut into pieces and your houses turned into piles of lambo. But if you tell me the dream and explain it, you will receive from me gifts, rewards and great honor. So tell me the dream and interpret it for me. I am yakuba simpei doto nataka muni ambie vile niliota na muni ambie interpretation ya that dream. Wakaza kupembeleza mfalme ya pana. Mfalme tuambie doto. Tukuambie interpretation. Mfalme kuambie no way. Musipondi ambie all of you. You're going to be cut into pieces. Lazima mtauliwa. If amta ni ambie doto vile ni meota. And then interpretation of that dream. All of you. You're going to be killed. Mfalme kata kuambie. Oh my God. I like this. Angalia vile babo inasema. Verse 7. Once more they replied, Let the king tell his servants the dream. We will interpret it. 
Imagine. Wana insist waambie ndoto waambie ndoto. Alafu wa interpret. Verse number 8. Then the king answered, I am certain that you are trying to gain time. <laughs> Because you realize that this is what I have firmly decided. Imagine. If you do not tell me the dream, there is just one penalty for you. <laughs> you have com conspired to tell me misreading and wicked things hoping the situation will change so then tell me the dream <laughs> i will know that there i will know that you can interpret it for me imagine akambia kwamba you buy time nikimwambia daughter mtanipe interpretation buyer <laughs> and because of that kile ambacho nataka ni mnipe hiyo daughter alafu interpretation hiyo nitajua kwamba interpretation mkijua daughter interpretation ya kweli ha ulikuwa ni mtihani mkubwa sana follow me crossory now follow me crossory verse number 10 verse number 10 nataka nifikishe verse number hapa chini alafu ni interpret the astrologers answer the king there is not nisikize hapa there is not a man on earth who can do what the king asks hakuna mtu hapa duniani ambaye anaweza kile ambacho mfalme anasema hakuna ambaye anaweza kile ambacho wewe mfalme unaweza <laughs> listen to this no king however no king however great or mighty has ever asked such a thing of any magician or enchanter or astrologer what the king asks is too difficult no one can review it to the king except the gods accept the gods accept the gods and they do not live among men <laughs> napenda ki james anasema kwamba accept the gods ambaye hana fresh haja kuja hapa na fresh takuja hapa kuingia maana hapa kuna gospel hapo kuna gospel kali sana hakuna ispokuwa kwa hivyo hata magicians hata astrologers imagine wanasema kwamba isipokuwa god ambaye hakai na watu mimi ndio walikuwa najua kwamba kuna yeye ambaye hakai na watu but hawamwamini that's it Woo. i like this i like this now follow me closely hi when the king asks okay 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 verse number 12 Verse number 12. This makes the king so angry and furious that he ordered the execution execution of all the wise men of Babylon. Okay? So the decree was issued to put the wise men to death and the men were sent to look for Daniel. Dan and his friends to put them to death. Remember how they took a meeting when to pray dream. But what the astrologers and magicians were sent to Then All they got a decree kwa released ya kwamba wise men all of them wa Babylon wa uliwe kwa maana wameshindwa ninasema kwamba uko katumwa watu waenda katafuta Daniel Misho Hanania na Azaria wa uliwe imagine the story is very interesting when uh, when Arioch when Arioch the commander of the king's guard had gone out to put to death the wise men of Babylon <laughs> look at this had gone out to put there to the wise men of Daniel spoke to him with wisdom and tact like someone magani he asked the king's officer why did the king issue such a harsh decree ariak the ariak then explained the matter to daniel at this daniel went to the king and asked for time so that he might interpret the dream for him then daniel returned to his house and explained the matter to his friends hananiah michel and azaria he urged them to cons ah yeah 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 hebu nisikize verse nikimalizia verse 18 he urged them to plead for mercy from the god of heaven concerning the mystery so that he and his friends might not be executed with the rest of the wise men of babylon during the night the mystery was revealed to daniel in a vision then daniel praised the god of heaven yes karibu sana sasa welcome i really some of the have of faith daniel chapter number 2 na kwenye Daniel chapter number 2 is a very interesting chapter. Manake we see Nebuchadnezzar bali kwa ni mfano wa Babylon. Alianza kujisibua about the future. 
kama vile hata wale watu wengi sana wanajisumbua juu ya tomorrow next week na kaanza kufikiria sasa maisha yake ya mwishoe yanakuwa namna gani katika hiyo harakati Mungu akaona akampea dream na kwa ile dream akaanza kumuonyesha yale mambo ambayo yatakuja kutendeka in future then bali nasema kwamba akaita group ine akaita magicians who are these magicians magicians ni watu wanaona practice magic na they are superstitious by the way wanatumia rituals na ceremonies wana fortune tell they are so desires wakaitwa wakujwa mwambie ile ndoto wameota alafu wame, wa interpret magicians wakaitwa first astrologers watu wanaona study the stars na wanajua mambo through studying the stars wakaitwa wakuje mara still wakashindwa kujua the dream na interpretation of the dream sorcerers who see pass of spells watu wanaona cast spells wakaitwa wakuje wafanya mambo yao still wakashindwa chaudians wakaridei wakaitwa ni watu wa they were philosoph- philosophers ambao walikuwa na mambo ya science wakaitwa wakashindwa group ine zimeitwa magician sorcerers astrologers wakaridei wajue hiyo dream hawakuweza na wakajaribu kuambia mfalme mfalme sio rahisi vile unasema tufanye tuambie ndoto tukupe interpretation mfalme wakasema no way sitampea ndoto lazima mnipee sababu nikimwambia ndoto mtanipea uongo Aibu imaji. Mara kile kile ni jenga. Ni Yakobo yule mfalme akakasirika, akarilisa decree. <coughs> Thank you. Ben Kim koga nzuri sana anafanya. Umepost mahali tumesoma. In fact akaambiwa kitu kimoja. Lazima all wise men of Babylon wauliwe. Na oda ikaendelea. Na bibi anasema kwamba Daniel akaanza kutafuta uliwe. But Daniel aliposkiza kile mfalme amesema akaambia ali ambaye alikuwa ameambiwa uwe watu ampeleke kwa mfalme akaenda kwa mfalme kaambia mfalme bona mfalme nipe time niome nitakupea jibu and as a story mahali imefika mahali tumesoma na mpaka mahali tumefikisha mahali pale kuna lessons tunaweza pata from that story there are some lessons we can get kwa hiyo story tumesoma lesson number one. nataka unitegee lesson number one. very important Lesson number one. Mungu anapeana dream. This is the lesson number one. Mungu anapeana dream. Ambayo inahusu mpaka future. Mungu anapeana dream ambayo ina review mpaka future. Na mtu ambaye ananisikiza, Mungu anaongea anaweza ongea mpaka next year vile kutakuwa. Mungu anaweza ongea mpaka next month vile kutakuwa. Mungu anaweza ongea mpaka next week vile kutakuwa. So alipea dream na Nebuchadnezzar na ni dream na ongea about future. So the same God we serve ni Mungu anafunua mambo. We don't serve a quiet God. We serve a God who speaks. We serve God who reveals things. We serve God who speaks through visions and dreams even through his word. So if unatumikia Mungu ni yema sana kuwa attentive maana yake anaweza kunenea juu ya biashara yako next week anaweza kunenea juu ya doa yako anaweza kunenea juu ya taifa maana yake Mungu anafichua mambo ambayo yatakuja that's that's why we can see the kenaza akona dream inaongea juu ya future so there's a lesson number one. god can speak through dreams na ongea mambo ambayo yatakuja this is my prayer anybody following me may god speak to you in a mighty way may May God azidi kujionyesha kwako kama vile alikuwa anajionyesha hapa. Wacha Mungu azidi kujionyesha kwa maisha yako. So there's a lesson number one ya kwamba Mungu ana speak through dreams. Juu ya mambo ambayo yatakuja, mambo ya future ananena through dreams. Hiyo ni lesson moja tunaweza ipata hapo. Angalia lesson number two. Lesson number two. Listen to this. Rao nisikize. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Ah, ragoni rewe. Number one Mungu anaweza speak through dreams. Na ni kitu anaweza ongea about even several months to come. Anaongea. Bana angalia lesson number two. Lesson number two. Very 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 serious. Satan cannot read your mind. Yes. Aha. Au nitege. 
Satan cannot read our mind. Shetani hawezi soma mawazo yako. Hata kunitege hapa, hawezi soma mawazo yako. So hawa ni magician. Hawa ni watu ambao wanatumia nguvu za giza, wafanye mambo. Listen to me. Wanatumia nguvu za giza. Na wanaenda kufanya sakara sarakazi zao ili wajue dream. Bali shetani hakuweza kusoma mind. Nisikize. Hakuweza kusoma mind. Yani Nebuchadnezzar, don't forget Mora Ogonia, there is a theological debate. Kuna watu theologians wanasema kwamba alikuwa anakumbuka, but personal belief yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anakumbuka. Anaomba hivyo kwamba ni vile yeye mwenyewe alikuwa amesahau kwa sababu anaambia kwamba nikimwambia mtandaganya maybe alikuwa amezoea kudaganywa. Na this time round akaweka kwa temptation kabisa ili sasa wamwambie dream and then after kumwambia dream wamwambie interpretation so i believe from kaneza alikuwa anakumbuka hii dream but wale watu ambao ni wa kishetani watu ambao wanafanya nguvu za kishetani ili kujua mambo wakashindwa kusoma mind of Nebuchadnezzar kumaanisha kwamba shetani hawezi soma mawazo yako anaweza jua kile ambacho umeongea Anazangalia matendo yako, but hawezi jua your mind. And that's who anaambia watu, wacheni kuogopa shetani. He cannot read your mind. Hawezi ka hapa ufikirie kitu. Shetani hajui umefikiria no. He is not all knowing. Hajui kila kitu. Mapepo hayajui kila kitu. Watawi hawajui kila kitu. Don't be afraid of watawi. Usikae kwa nyumba. Ali unaogopa nikiplan kitu, mtawi atafunga no. He cannot read your mind. Shetani anagoja uongee kitu. That's what is very important usiwe ongea kitu negative maneno ya shetani anasikiza kile unaongea na anaangalia kile unafanya he cannot read your mind kana kwamba na read mind angejua haya mawazo ya Nebukadnezar na angeambia hawa watu mapepo yalishindwa kusoma mawazo na vile mapepo yalishindwa kusoma mawazo i declare tonight mapepo hayatasoma mawazo yako mapepo hayatasoma mawazo ya watoto wako that's it mapepo hayatasoma kile ambacho unafikiria case closed mark that i love go for this mapepo hayakuweza hayakuweza kusoma mind ya Nebukadnezar na don't forget Nebukadnezar was not born again if Nebukadnezar was not born again na hawakusoma mawazo ya mtu ambaye not born again what about mawazo ya Kevas mtu ambaye ni born again eh eh what about mawazo ya Kevas mtu ambaye ni son of the kingdom what about mawazo ya Kevas mtu ambaye ni king in the kingdom of god mawazo yako hayawezi somo na shetani Shetani huwa anajaribu kuweka mawazo mabaya ndani ya watu. Ukikubali yale mawazo na anaweza control through the mind, but he cannot read mind yako. Very important point. Hello. Wachawi ma Illuminati ma Satanists hawawezi soma mawazo yako. Hawawezi. Watanirudi hawawezi. Hiyo ni point ambayo inafai kuingia sana. <laughs> Hawawezi. They may try but they can't. And I want to declare today even diviners hawatawai soma mawazo yako maana they don't have the power. Zagosha <laughs> katarama zanda. Kwa hivyo shetani hakusoma mawazo. Tu hawa watu hakuweza kusoma mawazo yao. That one is very important. Don't be afraid of Satan. Hawezi soma mawazo yako. Hawa watu wamejaribu wakashindwa. Walijaribu kujua dream wakashindwa. Ni wachawi. Ai. That's it. Magdis walijaribu kashindwa. Magdishes wakashindwa. <laughs> Au storage wakajaribu kuita nyota, wakajaribu kusoma stars, waangalie what is happening, but hawakuweza, nyota haziko pay information. Can I tell you, it comes a time watu wa bonu wa nguvu za giza wanashindwa and this is the time we are heading to. Na nakuja nitangaze hapa bila uoga, even kile ambacho kibaya kinapangwa all over the world. Natangaza hapa watashindwa in the name of Jesus if magician, if astrologers hapo walishindwa the same way 
Nesemwe even Illuminati watashindwa. Nesemwe even agenda a new world order haita go through as long as we are here. They cannot control our mind. Always put our gadget quite what to control. We are controlled by the Holy Spirit. No demonic gadget can control your life. Are you listening to me now? I'm here to declare how at Aweza in Jesus' mighty name. The time of Nebuchadnezzar. What one boy called Wak Shetani. What one boy called to me a Guvuza Giza. They tried. What is the book of the young daughter when you're Mongo Kiroho? What is the stout Shay Wao called Changa? What is the stama Jimio called Maji? What is the book of Vituvio Kuchinda? But Hakuna Kitu or Kona Giza? Can I tell you something? Anybody about to me or Chawi? Right now at Ona Giza in Jesus' mighty name. How is he? You cannot kill it. How? You cannot fight the people of God. <laughs> and tonight nataka kutangaza kitu kimoja watashindwa plan za shetani hazita go through i don't go for nebuchadnezzar aliwapea nafasi ya kwanza group zote ina zikaitwa nipeni doto <laughs> msiponipea hii ni kari lazima nitamua it was a serious case the king was serious. Muni pesita mwambia ndoto muniambie. Come on. Alafu mukiniambie sasa mu interpret. Sitake muda ganye. Nebuchadnezzar was tired. And I believe the Bible says the heart of the king. Nisikize the heart of the king. Iko kwenye mikono ya mungu. I believe God alikuwa na work inside Nebuchadnezzar. Maneke mungu alikuwa na taku jionyesha in Babylon. Mungu alikuwa na taku jionyesha niya na tawara. I believe he was controlling the heart of the king. Na kakshia kwamba hawa hawa taweza. <laughs> Maneke alikuwa na juu kwamba ana agenda yake. Mungu ana agenda yake. Hanga unisikize. Hiyo ni point muhimu sana. Ya kwamba shetani hawezi soma mawazo yako. Then kuna mahali kuna fika paka nguvu za giza zinashindwa kufanya kazi. Can I say again? Nguvu za giza zinashindwa kufanya kazi. Hao alijaribu na kazi yao ya kiugongo wakashindwa. Remedy kiria tonight. Mipango yote shetani ni family. In Jesus mighty name Mipango yote ya shetani Kwa your business Haita go through In Jesus mighty name Mipango yote ya kiuganga Haita go through Let me repeat again Mipango yote ya new world order Haita go through I know all over the world They are using what they are calling interfaith In the Bible There is nothing like interfaith Case closed all over the world, Nigeria, all over the world, when we form groups, zina ito interfaith. Wanaleta, wanaleta makanisa yote, wana, yana equalize. You cannot mix. What about they don't, they don't serve God. They don't serve true God. Wana serve miungu. Na what about they serve true, no. There's nothing like interfaith. They don't have faith. Only one person who can give faith, Jesus Christ. They have their belief, but they don't have this faith. We have faith is not miskize. Faith is not a thing. Faith is a person. Faith is Jesus Christ. Without Jesus, there is no revelation of faith. That's why although Old Testament was faith, faith was concealed in the New Testament because Jesus Christ came to reveal faith in the New Testament. So there is nothing like interfaith. Case closed. Are you listening to me? This is an agenda. You cannot balance awakening is what pamoja because there is nothing like that. This is a hidden agenda. But I want to declare this power free. Be the woga. Eh rako zabashana baribo zata. Leo nataka ni yoge be the woga. Mipango yote ya kishetani lazima haita go through. Illuminati na mipango yao haita go through. They thought they can oppress the church, but they cannot. They thought ya kwamba, they can vaccinate watu, but they cannot, they don't have power over the people of God. Bible nisa wakoba magicians, wakashidua, chaodians wakashidua. This is a fact. This is a fact. Malo sekere malando go river sanda. Usiku wale nimekuja kutangaza. 
e dream yes maona the dream lu mungu alipeana and mungu alipeana with an agenda to frustrate nguvu za kishetani to frustrate magicians kuna mambo mungu anazeruhusu yakuje to frustrate <laughs> Watu ambao wanajifanya kwamba wana mipango yao Mungu alipeana the dream with an agenda of frustrating magicians with an agenda of frustrating sorcerers with an agenda of frustrating astrologers with an agenda of frustrating Chaldeans Hello can I tell you through this covid-19 kuna watu ambao watakuwa frustrated Aha, through this covid-19 kuna watu ambao wataibika sana manake god will reign at the end can you listen to me at the end lazima mungu atareign lazima ita work out for our own good Aha. there are people ambao wataokoka because of this what they realize it is all about god mungu ndiye anaweza kila kitu it is not about madaktari wana kazi yao it is not about wakubwa wana kazi yao it is about god ambaye anatawala all over na at the end lazima mungu atatawala that's what happened Daniel 2 there was a dream Mungu amepeana wakajaribu ku, kujua ile dream bara wakashindwa Mungu alikuwa amewazuilia Mungu hangekubarisha wajue maana the agenda of God was to frustrate kazi yao let me declare prophetic rebira woga ya kwamba kuna watu ambao watakuwa frustrated they think Africa what they are going to die let me tell you at Kenya people are not going to die we may seek <laughs> can I come out more positive at one end of crazy but let me tell you god is in control kenya belongs to jesus na kenya has a prophetic destiny and nobody can change that whether wachai wakuje whether masonic wakuje whether watu wafanye kazi yao they cannot change kenya has an assignment in the last days Hi. God is raising pastors from Kenya. They will go all over the world to preach the gospel. There is a great revival. Revival in Chipuka from Kenya. And that's why Satan ako against Kenya. I told you when you skiza mahubiri yangu tukianzia, nikasema kwamba agenda yao ni frustration Kenya kuonekana positive sana kwa sababu Kenya, 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 Mungu anaipenda sana. But let me tell you let me tell you, agenda yao itakuwa frustrated. Let me repeat it, agenda yao itakuwa frustrated. Let me say again, agenda yao maroza karaba itakuwa frustrated in Jesus mighty name. Whether wajaribu kuzuilia watu, whether mauwe watoto, whether shetani jaribu mambo yake hataweza. Maneke Kenya belongs to Jesus. Jesus is reigning. Whether kuna COVID-19, Jesus is reigning. Whether watu wanakufa, Jesus is reigning. And at the end, lazima tainuliwa. And I want to declare magicians, Illuminati, Masonic, Black Magic, Red Magic, all of them mention them. They don't have power lord our goal they tried the dream of Nebuchadnezzar they failed Woo! come on I see the affairia <laughs> by the way imagine watu wamejiada kuzika watu who told them people are dying people are not dying let me tell you we are praying they are not dying we are silencing death death has no power all over us People cannot die prematurely. We are command there is a spirit dead can hear our voice. We have power to authorize the dead to quit and leave. And that's what we are doing right now. It doesn't matter whether they have those bugs, but dead has no power love our family members. Dead has no power love our lives. Come on. We want to declare this atmosphere. Mchanga hautazika watu, hautazika our members, hautazika our children and our parents. We refuse that in Jesus mighty name. Bible says death is an enemy. Bible says it is the last enemy to be defeated. And I believe death is under our feet. Somebody hear this voice. Nimekuja hapa full of God to declare this. The way magicians were frustrated in Daniel 2. The way astrologers, they were frustrated in Daniel chapter number 2. The same way. Mipango and you all it was frustrated. The way COVID-19. No one you pango at the frustrated. Crisis reigning. Woo! Shababo Rosaka. 
He is reigning. Come on, He is reigning. Whether we have money or not, He is reigning. Oh my good God, let me tell you, they tried. Minon hao watu lazima walikuwa na vitu vyao. Lazima walikuwa na na, na zile <laughs> siraha za kishetani wanatumia. They trent wakajaribu the spells. What do a dream and Nebuchadnezzar? Wakajaribu kuambia Nebu Nebu tafadhali, Nebu tafadhali to obey your dream we can interpret. But the Bible says what? Yakoba Nebuchadnezzar kaambia na no way. Sua bi doto muniambie if not that all of you you're going to die. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Madeshian, Wakemoa Takufa, Wameshinua. Ah, someone listen to my voice. Kuna Kituna Pena Sana. Angali your Bible to Fadari. Angali your Bible to Fadari. Agaria Daniel chapter number 2 verse number 11. Daniel chapter number 2 King James. I thank God for this. Uh, Daniel chapter number 2 verse number 11. Number 11. Daniel chapter number 2 verse number 11. Look at this. Look at this. Daniel 2 11. Tag your friend, tag your friend. We are beginning. Bado to the answer. To narrate the foundation. There are a lot of things to nachabua tonight. Ragunisquise hapa. Angaria Daniel 2 11. Angaria Daniel 2 chapter number 11. The Bible says, oh, Daniel 2 11. Bible in a sema hivi. Don't miss this one. Wakatu wa chawi. Aha. Wali jaribo magicians. Australians. Wakari day wate. Wali po jaribo kashindua. Wakasema kile mfalmu unasema Hakuna mtu hapa duniani inaweza Can you imagine? Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza hivo But kuna kitu wa mato walikiri They are magicians They are sorcerers and astrologers Na wakaridai But kuna kitu walikiri Daniel 2.11 Oh my good God Na raku nisikiza ibrifa kwa mba itako posted here It is a rare thing that the king requires And there is none other there is none other that can show it before the king except, except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. Can you hear that? Magicians and sorcerers. Wari poshindo ngu vuzao. Wakasaba kila mfalma unakiri. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza. Ispokuwa. Kuna mungu ambaye. Hakai na muri kama. Can you hear this? Can you hear the testimony of our chawi? Can you hear this? What I want to What I said, what I said. Ay, 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 ay. Verse number 11. Daniel 2, 11. Daniel 2, 11. It is a real thing that the king requires. And there is none other that can show it before the king. Accept. Accept. What you want to Can you hear this? Accept who? Accept the gods who dwelling is not with the fresh. Lakini kuna miungu haikai na mwiri Iyo miungu diyo tui na jua Mini hata wachewe liju kwa mba kunae Huyo anaweza Come on Walipo deribu wakashindua Wakakiri kwa vinyo vyao Kunae ambaye anaweza But hakai na mwiri Case close <laughs> Hey Woo Awa ni wachawi wana testify Sisi hatuwezi na uchawi wetu Sisi hatuwezi na uganga wetu Mbatu kunaye he he he. Kunaye Huyo ni yeye tu Hakai na mwili kama uwe wetu sasa Hedi anaweza funua haya mabu unasema mfalme Hako hapa anaweza funua Mini ata wawo likuwa na jua Mbali testify Yakoba only God anaweza fanya hiyo kitu And I want to declare this Yakoba time umefika Kuchurikane ni mungu tu anaweza <laughs> Time umefika Kuchurikane paka wachawi Paka masonic Wakiri only God can Stop COVID-19 Makozo bekere bazandaga Only God accept Gota mazo, we all on a zita hivo. Has it kind of fresh? But I thank God. Are you going to say, I'm 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 going to 
hana mwili kama wetu i believe mungu akasikia vile walikuwa naongea akaja kubata wa frustrate father then in the book in the new testament god ambaye alikuwa anasema kwamba hana fresh akatoka kaja akachukua fresh akachukua mwili wa binadamu akafanyika mwili ambaye mungu ambaye ana mwili na nyama aha walikuwa sema kwamba yule ambaye anaweza ni mungu dwelling za ai 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 Hey, haya dwelling zake si si na mwili. Can you hear that? Wanasema ni Mungu anaweza, bali hakai na mwili. Bali Mungu akasikia vile wanaongea. The same God akaja, akachukua mwili wa binadamu. Walisema yeye mwenyewe hana mwili, bali Mungu akaja, akachukua mwili wetu ili atukomboe zaidi. They said hakai na mwili. But in the New Testament Jesus as God akaja, akachukua mwili for us. Hawa ni wachawi, hawa ni enchanters, astrologers, they are confessing. Yakoba kunaye ambaye hakai kama. In your in your life, I want to declare this. Wale ambao wanasema utaisha, they will testify kunaye ambaye anaweza. Wale ambao nafikiria kwamba utakabila kazi, they will testify kunaye ambaye anapeana kazi. Wala bado nafikiri kwamba hautapata pesa watatesify kunaye ambaye anasaidia watu hawa ni wachawi and they are testifying that That's my Jesus Hello somebody Can you hear my voice Can you hear my voice Oh imagine wachawi wana declare that <laughs> Imagine magicians wana declare that Australians wanaangalia nyota zote hawapati kitu mpaka evangelist mko akasema kwamba kunaye may all witches confess your god may all sorcerers see your god may all illuminati see our god now this is a season this is the time they are going to see god wanajua kwamba they can plan to kill people millions and millions of people it will reduce population manake hiyo ni agenda yao ah woo peter can you hear this now mary can you hear this this is a message in a tolewa na waganga <laughs> I like this. Afadhali ningekuwa hapo. <coughs> Afadhali ningekuwa hapo by the way. Hebu majina waganga wakikiri. Let me taga, let me nitangaza this. All the enemies of the grace of God they will testify on God can. Ne shakara moza. Let me declare this. Kunae ambaye amehang other poor nothing. <laughs> Kunae ambaye amehang other poor nothing. Ndivyo Bible inasema in the book of Job, Mungu amehang other upon nothing. Meaning to God, to God nothing is something. That's why and hang up upon nothing. That's my God. Yeye na anaweza kufunua anything. Yeye ni meaning wacha with the limited. Waganga the limited. When you come the boundaries they cannot close. Ah. Woo, they are boundaries they cannot close. Kwa sababu hao they are boundaries they cannot close. Let me declare, what shall we know waganga they have boundaries they cannot close. Even in your life, kuna boundaries they cannot close. Ha ha ha. Oh, hey. hey. Unajua wao I know that she don't want to go see yes yes kwa sababu wao wana wana wanamuita hivyo you see they don't want to recognize the fact and the truth that's when alifa kwamba ni god has kind of willy but the real things they were referring to god but when ajaribu kumpea small chi what am i small chi <laughs> ah, 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 he is still the one who is reigning. So, wakakiri hivyo. Angalia that verse. Angalia that verse. Ah, na angalia kwa sababu ya our sister anauliza, bwana kumeandikwa small g. 
if if you have your strong skull codings you can click that one h426 utaona ukrik h426 iko hapo ukiklik hapo utaona kwamba it is capital g it is capital g it is god of israel god of israel they were referring to god of israel lakini skize ya they were referring to god of israel haka tuelewe one hapo yeah if you have your strong skull codings in the bible boy kona king james initwana sana so walijelibu wakakiri wakasema hivyo <laughs> ah ah god was frustrating them but now look at this now look at this na lakini unisikize na unitege hapa hapo nitege vizuri sana then bible inasema hivi tangu nielewe bible inasema hivi ariok ariok <laughs> ariok ambaye alikuwa sasa ni komanda wa jeshi ya nebukadneza akapewa amri akaambiwa nao kill all wise men kama ana mashiru kuniambia the dream na interpretation of the dream now kill all of them Hey, this this was also a hidden agenda ya shetani nataka nielewe <laughs> because immediately after the decree kwa chiriwa mama nasema kwamba wakaanza kutafuta Daniel how comes they are starting with Daniel na Daniel hako kwenye meeting ya watu ambao wanaitwa wakatasuri dream hakuweko but now they are looking after Daniel kwa maana walisuriwa na Daniel in chapter number one that's why wana tafuta pale so yule ambaye alipewa <laughs> amri ya kuwa aliok aliok means lion like lion like hey lion like ni alikuwa anaenda kuua watu na akatumwa kwa Daniel na akaenda kwa Daniel Daniel akasikia kwamba kuna amri ya kifo imetolewa ya kwamba all wise men wa uliwe including who Daniel <laughs> Michelle Hanania na Azaria they were also to be killed imagine maybe shetani kufikiria alikuwa amefikiria kwamba ameweza sana kwa sababu alikuwa anafikiria kwamba kina Daniel wataulia hapo kwa sababu kuna dikri ya kifo imeachiliwa lazima wauliwe but i thank go for Daniel i thank go for the faith Daniel alikuwa nayo. Alienda kwa king. Akamwambia king. Ma in fact Daniel uliza bona ameamua kwa haraka sana uamuzi wake umetoka kwa haraka sana. Why that? Why that? Akaenda kwa king, akamwambia king hapana king. Tupe kidogo. Na kuja na ule ufunuo unataka. I'm coming that revelation. Yaani Daniel alikuwa anaamini Mungu. Yule ambaye anaabudu atampea revelation. Alikuwa anaamini Mungu atamfunulia kile kinasumbua mfalme. That was faith. Hakuwa na doubt. Yakoba anaweza enda akose kupewa jibu. Bali amina koba nikienda nitakuja na kila mfalme anataka. Akisema mfalme kusikuwa na mtu ambaye atauliwa. Simamisha kwanza kidogo. <laughs> Simamisha kwanza kidogo hiyo dikri ya kifo. <laughs> Nimeisimamisha Daniel akasimamisha dikiri ya kifo. Asema kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye atauliwa. Wata kidogo. If Daniel alisimamisha kifo kilikuwa kimetolewa, asema kwanza kusikuwa na mtu atauliwa, hata wala wachai wasiuliwe. <laughs> Daniel ni yeye na control nao. Amesema no way. No way. Kusikuwa na mtu ambaye atauliwa. Can I tell you we can stop death? I say once again we can stop death. Yes. We can stop death. And Daniel sema kwamba kusikuwa na mtu atauliwa, atawala magicians wako, wale Australians wako. Hey. Imagine hata watawi sasa. 
Ana wataa sasa. I like this. Imagine wale wachawi. Sasa wanashikiria sasa hivi. Anatoka kuji tena bana na gudi. Wanakaa hivi. Sasa kwa sababu hata wao wako kuliwa. Kwa hivyo sasa wanaangalia Daniel. Daniel tu wakoe wachawi sasa. Wako pale under the cover of Daniel. Daniel asipo kuja na najibu pale. Wachawi wanauliwa. So wachawi watu walikuwa natazama Daniel. Wachawi na uchawi wao. Wakaanza kufocus na watu Daniel. I believe for anza kushukuru kwa nyumba. Hoi hey. we thank you for Daniel. Hey. Tugauliwa. <laughs> I don't mind you wachawi. Kuna decree ya kifo anafaa kuliwa. Woo! But Daniel came before the king. Akambia king king first kusikuwa na mtu atauliwa. Wacha na kuja na kile ambacho anaitisha. Kwa hivyo hata wachawi hawakuliwa because of Daniel. Hata wachawi. Hata waganga hawakuliwa because of Daniel. Woo! Can you imagine I like this? Imagine uchawi. Wasema makamata tuutoe toa hivi. Tumekosa kuwasaidia. Right now, yule ambaye anawasaidia ni Daniel. Can I tell you? Ni sisi tutasaidia mpaka wa. Kushela. Then Daniel akatoka kule kwa mfalme. Mbona anasema namna gani? Akaenda kambia Shadrach. Nisikize. Hanania mission Nazaria. Maana kadani ulikuwa unajua kwamba mahali kuna meeting ya watu wawili au watatu Mungu anazi manifest wakaita na meeting ya maombi ya watu watatu wanasema kwamba we are going to pray tonight <laughs> we are going to have a time of prayer there is a situation here wachawi wanatutazama waganga astrologers wanatutazama eh hey, 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 watu wote wanatazama hapo tukitomboa wachawi watajua our god wanamuita simono g but what a change watampea capital g after this nimesimamisha kwanza kifo <laughs> nimesimamisha kidogo kifo wachawi wa hata ulio kwa sababu mimi daniel nimesema mungu anaweza can you hear me? But in fact, I can see that Daniel. Loko zabakanda la zora ba. Wala bori po na fasi ya kwanza sasa. Niwa wa naturia. Kunae ambaye na baba mungu ukweli. Kunae ambaye na baba mungu ambaye na pe na visions. Ambaye na pe na understanding na knowledge. Hey, 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 hey. wa kwanza sasa wa kwa mwisho kwa maana wanaokuwa kwanza kuna time inafika wanakuwa wa Kar <laughs> Can you picture the whole scenario? Can you see that image now? Mahari waganga wako na wachawi Watu wanaangalia Daniel yeye atawa safe. <laughs> Yule atawako kutoka kifo ni Daniel. That's what God can do. He can turn things around. He can overturn tables. Anaweza fanya watu wa bondwa miungu. Wana kwa only church inaweza. <laughs> eh, hey, inaweza nikana kana kwa matati iko quiet. Kana kwa matati haiongei. But we are speaking privately. <laughs> we are speaking privately. Daniel nisikize. Daniel alikuwa anajua. Alikuwa anajua jina yake ni gani? Alikuwa anajua. I am Daniel. God is my judge. God judges. Only God can judge. Alikuwa anajua yeye ni nani? Alikuwa anajua I am Daniel. God is my judge. Akaenda katafuta nani? Akaenda kuhanania Hanania. Hey, the grace of Jehovah. I don't come God is my judge. That's me, Daniel. I got after Hanania the grace of Jehovah. I don't come I need the connection of the grace. I know God is the judge, but I need the connection of the grace of Jehovah. So, I need Hanania. Mane ke tu Hanania, the grace of Jehovah in one kana. Mane ke the name Hanania means the grace of Jehovah. <laughs> so God is my judge, not Nebuchadnezzar. And as I connect with Hanania, I connect with the grace of God. So when I connect with Hanania, grace of Jehovah, God judges Daniel, grace of Jehovah, Hanania. Then we can connect with Michelle. Who was Michelle? Michelle means what? Who is like God? Oh. Said the mother na grace of God Daniel. 
Said the Gideon connect now who is like God? Who is like God? Then Amarizian connect na Azaria. The help of Jehovah. The help of Jehovah. Woo! God is my judge. I enjoy the grace of Jehovah, who is like God. He is my help. <laughs> Who is like God? I have the grace of God. I have the help of Jehovah. He is my judge. Daniel, Hanania, Mishael, and Nazaria. Daniel, God is my judge. Hanania, the grace of Jehovah. <laughs> Mishael, who is like God? Can you hear this? Azaria, Azaria. Woo! My, 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 my. The help of Jehovah. Wakawa na time ya kuintasida. Wakawa time ya kuomba. Hey, Rako Zabakanda. Let me tell you. Madui hawa juu kina nari wanafanya. By the way, praying privately. Can I tell you? We can overturn things by praying privately. Yes. We need to take issues kwa maombi zile zikongumu hata sasa. Tunaweza attack covid kwa maombi. Imekaka na kwamba makalia watu. Inakaka na kwamba covid imeatiria a decree of death. Yes. But no wonder atakuwa na decree of death. I brief kuna watu ambao baba ametenga. Na watu ambao they are more like Daniel. They are more than Daniel. Hey, hey. Woo! Can I tell you we are praying? We are praying. We are praying. They prayed that night. Na hawakuomba siku mingi Margaret. Hawakuomba siku mingi hapana. That night they prayed. Daniel. Hanania wakaomba and that night God akajifunua kwa Daniel. Taku nitege. Hakujifunua. Hakujifunua. Kwa Michel or Azaria. But they were praying together. But Mungu alitumia mmoja wao, Daniel. Akaonyesha kila kitu kivile kinafanyika. Kila kila kitu kile mfalme aliona. Akaonyeshwa. Follow me closely. Takoni take now. Hallelujah. We have just begun. We have just begun. We have just begun. Listen to me and listen to me very carefully. They prayed and God answered their prayer. God answered their prayer. Within 12 hours, God answered their prayer. Within 12 hours, God answered their prayer. Can I tell you? God answers prayer. God hears our prayer. Woo! The same God, a Mary Jimomia kina Daniel. Na marafiki wake is the same god ambaye anachimba ombi yetu tunapoomba is the same god who anasikia kilio chetu tunapomuita is the same god I thank god kwa kile ambacho alikuwa naomba they knew there was a decree of death Daniel aliana kaambia marafiki wake let's seek the masses of god they knew the power of the masses of god they knew kwamba mercy triumph of a judgment. Na Mungu akampea ajibu. Look at this. Kile kinalijenga about Daniel. Ni wakati alipewa ajibu. Sikiza na nielewe. Ukiangalia verse 20 to 23 kuna kitu ambacho alifanya. After kupewa ajibu, alimshukuru Bwana. He worshiped God. Angalia hiyo Bible. He worshiped God. Follow me now. He worshiped God. 
alipopewa answer ya prayer yake hakuenda itu hivyo a a a a angalia hiyo bible vizuri sana angalia hiyo bible vizuri sana look at it angalia daniel 2 23 there tena kuonyesha kitu very important hapa there are so many people today baba kichubu maombi yao they don't have time to worship him They don't have time kumshukuru Mungu. Dani alipojibiwa maombi, alimshukuru Bwana na kamwabudu Bwana. Look at this. Daniel 2. Hey, show mazai. Angalia verse kuanzia verse number 20. Paka verse number 23. Ni nini alikuwa anafanya? Alitaja mambo matano ya Mungu. Ari, ariona ukuwa bwana the greatness of god ari mshukuru bwana because of his greatness hilo ni jambo la kwanza alitaja pale ari mshukuru bwana because of his goodness that's number two. ari mshukuru bwana because of his wisdom that's number three. ari mshukuru bwana because of his power that's number four. na ari mshukuru bwana because of his revelation that's number five. Soma pale hapo utaona hayo mambo nimekwambia Alimshukuru Bwana kama mburu Bwana because of five things Number one because of his greatness Ukuu wa Mungu Aliona the greatness of God akamwabudu Bwana because of his greatness Kazo Mungu ni wewe mkuu akamwabudu because of his greatness How I wish You may understand the greatness of God. Because the more you understand about the greatness of God, the more you worship him. Mara ngapi Mungu amejibu kilio chako? Mara ngapi Mungu amekupea biashara? Mara ngapi Mungu amekupea promotion? Mara ngapi Mungu amelinda ndoa yako? Mara ngapi Mungu amelinda watoto wako? Bali unasahau kumwabudu Mungu. Mara ngapi Mungu amejibu maombi? Alafu naenda just bila kutenga time ya kumwabudu. Alimwabudu because of his greatness. Then number two, because of his goodness. Woo, shababa rakana. Ah, then number three, because of his wisdom. He saw the wisdom of God. He saw the goodness of God. Remember the goodness of God leads to repentance. Then number four, he saw the power of God. Aliyebudu Mungu because of power. Daniel 2 verse 20 to 23. There are five things mentioned there. Then number five, because of his revelation. Nisikize, hakuanzia na revelation. No, no, no. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, praise be to the name of God forever and ever wisdom and power are his can you hear that and I be a God God praise be to you wisdom and power are yours and I put Mungu because of his wisdom and his power aliona Mungu wachai wameshindwa this is your wisdom oh lord but umekubali kutufunulia sisi tunaoma this is your wisdom this is your power this is your power angalia He changes times and season. Get that? Daniel ndio kwamba the God that I serve, he can change times and season. Woo! Kuna vile season inaweza kuwa and as I change that season. He changes times and season. That's our God. He can change this season vile inakaa. He can change times. Ah! He set up kings and possess them. He gives wisdom to the wise knowledge to the discerning ah he reveals deep and hidden things he knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him imagine imagine i think kwanza ameelezea ukuu wake vile alivyo nguvu zake wisdom yake vile ana change times and season 
10, verse number 23, asama kwa I thank and praise you. Nime kushukuru baba, na nime kuabudu mungu. <laughs> oh God, my, oh God of my fathers. I did the align the covenant of Abraham, God of my fathers. Mskize, you have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what we asked of you. You have made known to us, to us, the dream of the king. Can you hear that? Nani abe meonyeshwa si wale niye, but hadi onyeshi niye and asemo ndo tufunuri ya sisi. Can you hear that? Hasemi ni mimi ni mefunuriwa, ni mimi tu, ni mimi ni na hiyo vision, haa, ah, ni ya mefunuriwa, mara nabia go thank you umetufunuria, meneke that we are praying together, so wame sama kwa although ni ya mefunuriwa, wame funuriwa wote, and I include wala wegine, kama ni wegine hapa, wafunuriwa hivo, wangeta kumiti mfano mepeke yao, kisiri siri, wakati watu wabomu rikuwa manaoba na wawo hawako hapo, that's it. But Daniel was not like that. Aliona ni watu wamefunuliwa. Ni yame funuliwa. Bala nambia God umetufunulia. Imagine. What about you? Marangapi mungu wamefanya. Na tunasahao kumwabudu. Na kumpea shukuran. Marangapi usenye na kanisa ni baba mekuteda melinda kazi yako Watu wakini unafutua Weba na ukoko kazi Ume muambia go thank you Umeenda kanisa ni kumbia go not just evil Ara umeenda na kitu kwa kanisa kumbia go thank you Thank you Lord Thank you for your liberation Mtotu wangu memaliza From four thank you Lord Amefanya masters thank you Lord Baba have been praying for this business I'll be praying ni pata baluwa ni yada inche. God, thank you, Lord. Umetenda. Daniel had that time. Come here, God, thank you. Wakati kuna COVID-19, don't forget to God, thank you. There are so many people who are going to take care. Where are you There's a goodness of God. Umemombia, God, thank you. Umemombia. Maombia, ripoti biwa. Ameona hayo mambo hapo. What about you? Karo Moravi. Do you take time to worship God? And to go thank you. Makimono can do, do that. Daniel aliona mambo matano ya mungu. Akaona, na, akaona greatness. Akaona goodness. Wisdom. Power. And liberation. Ah. It is my prayer. May you receive the heart to worship God in every situation. May you receive the heart to, 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 to thank God in every circumstance. Daniel aliabudu buwana and I can worship God. After that, after maumbi kujibiwa, Joseph Karani, can you hear this? I beg you, thank you. I'm longing to see what to. Yakoba Kamana Baba Mewalinda. They were having a time, not just fasting. Koma Hitadiako, you'll be fasting to God, thank you. I'm longing to see a day. What was a fast? See Kumbe Mahitaji. What a fast? Kumbe, thank you for my marriage. Thank you, Manakewa Totuangu Hawaja Kufa. Thank you, Mwana Baba Nimeobea Niolewe. Rain only the Fanya Wedding Gold. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. David kuna siku moja alisema Baba nimekuja kwako ivao nimekuja kuleta sacrifice ya thanksgiving kwa maana kuna vow nilikuwa nime make mara ngapi usai na kwa church kutoa sacrifice of thanksgiving because of that business mara ngapi usai na kwa church with the sacrifice of thanksgiving there are so many people that are not married there are so many there are people i know they are struggling Hawana paka pesa ya kulipa nyumba God help us may the grace of God flow in us That's it Daniel hakujiona ni yeye aliambia God thank you umetufunulia umetufunulia nisikize Mungu umetufunulia and i believe that's why kwenye Lord's prayer 
hot uh, ile obi inaitwa lot prayer uh, there is no single pronoun there is no single pronoun for that prayer no our father they kingdom come give us today our daily there is no singular pronoun no it is in plural form can you listen to me imagine the revelation of my power but until your revelation it may stop death through that revelation watch i what about through that revelation magicians what about Australians what about kumana wao walishindwa bado wameo bado wamepewa they will bow <coughs> hey sometimes tunakuanga kuombea mahitaji tunasahau kwambie god thank you alikuwa kwa vina itimba bi god thank you thank you lord na hata mkiomba na watu fulani na Mungu ajibu wewe usiseme tu ni wewe ah uh-uh. you are not praying alone this was a corporate prayer si maombi yako pekee dani was not praying alone alikuwa naomba na marafiki wake that's why akishukuru Mungu alisema kwamba God umetufunulia na ndiye amefunuliwa imagine humility ananyenyekea ana nyekea kwa kila revelation worship him and thank him in Jesus name so are we together if tuko pamoja ni mimi tuko pamoja wakati tunaingia mahali pa nafaa bado hatujaanza bado hatujaanza bado hatujaanza bado hatujaanza bado hatujaanza veronica praise god Imagine wewe unafanya kazi na unajua kuna kampuni zimefunga. Umeambia God thank you. Okay. Thank you James Mwana sema kwamba tuko pamoja sasa. Hey hey. Ah, lo shakata ramaza. Now for me now. Hey hey. Okay, for me now. This is deep now. This is deep. This is deep. And this one is very important. Thank you. Naona drokers, your radar anasema kwamba tuko pamoja sana. Eh wengi sana. There's so many people wanasema kwamba tuko pamoja sasa. Ah uh, Mary. Now angalia nao. Now Daniel and a revelation. Nataka nifuate. Hey. Then Bible says come verse number 24. Woo, verse number 24. Then Daniel went to Ariok. Shule bali come po assignment ya kifo. Hey, shakora baka. Ameenda kwa yule mtu ambaye alikuwa amepewa assignment ya kuua lion like. Hey, hey. Amwambia nao kwa nini anaenda kwake? Ili sasa kifo hakuna mtu ambaye atauliwa hata magicians hawatauliwa akaenda kwake whom the king had appointed to excuse execute the wise men of babylon and say to him do not come on can you hear this Woo! Dani akaenda kwa mtu ambaye alikuwa ameambiwa awe watu akamwambia namna gani <laughs> Do not execute the wise men of babylon take me to the king and I will interpret him for him I will interpret for him Our magicians wasiuliwe. Our astrologers wasiuliwe. Kusikuwa na mtu ambaye atauliwa, take me to the king. I will interpret the dream to the king. Hey! <laughs> Daniel stopped death through the revelation about the power. So the revelation of the power stopped death. Can I tell you? God can give you revelation of him that can stop death in families. And I want to declare through this revelation tonight we are stopping death. Ah roshakori bazende baranda. I thank God manake Ariok ni alikuwa na ni alikuwa nafaa kuua. 
na ndiye anapeleka yeye kwa king so if i may interpret it still aliok ana picture law maana ke sheria inatuua the law kills the letter kills but the same law inatupeleka kwa king eh hey, inatupeleka kwa king so akasema apele kwa mahali pale kwa mfalme <laughs> law shut tonight we are stopping cancer we are stopping covid 19 tonight malosha balaba eh masho milivosila i declare tonight we are stopping death kwa family zetu we are stopping death kwa mali tunafanya biashara we are stopping death kwa mahali tunakaa daniel debate alienda ka address mtu ambaye ametengwa uwe mabie don't kill anybody back how shall we don't kill them <laughs> meaning what shall we what shall we <laughs> because of that day they were saved look, look at this but you know some of the people who king at once angalia verse number 25 i like this how you took, took daniel to the king at once and said I have found a man. <laughs> I have found a man. Woo! I have found a man. Na si amepata ni kujileta amelete direta. I have found a man among exiles from Judah who can interpret the king what his dream means. This is very sensitive. Ariok anamjua vizuri sana. Amesema kwamba I have found a man. Ni kati wa otomoni ma exiles umeletwa hapa. He is from the tribe of Judah. The tribe my boy natoka kings. The tribe of Jesus. He is a man from the tribe of Jesus. A man from the tribe of Judah. Hey. A man from the tribe of Judah. It is good to know your tribe. Do you know vile bibi yake Haman aliyobia Haman? If you huyo Mordecai umeanza kuanguka mbele yake if if ni Muyahudi hautamweza maneka kuna watu ambao hawawezi watu ambao they are from the tribe of Judah hawawezi can i tell you can i tell you can i tell you <laughs> why Judah specifically maneka Judah Judah i remember the seed of Christ maneka in Judah there was Christ Meaning Daniel alikuwa kwenye reign age of Christ if Daniel alikuwa kwenye reign age of Christ what about us we are in Christ he alikuwa kwenye reign age of Christ but us we are in Christ the man was found you are the man you are the woman to stop the issues in your family you are the man to stop yale the iso diabetes kwenu you are the man to stop lana kwenu you are the person to declare you born again aha you are chosen generation hey you are royal priest yehuda hakuna mambo mabaya yatatendeka kwenu you are the man you are the woman Lolo lo shalaba hey <laughs> May you know yourself How to echo but in issues zingine know yourself Can I tell something know yourself Woo shamagora razeta Ah my 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 let me go deeper here Follow me closer my neck now Tunafika mahali pa nafaa So ni Helen, you are the woman now. You are the woman now. Don't miss this. You are the woman now. Look at this. I love this. Then the king akaruza like Daniel. Are you able now to tell me the dream? <laughs> the king asked Daniel also called Baritsaza are you able to tell me what i saw in my dream and interpret it are you able Daniel akamwambia no wise man hey <laughs> enchanter magician diviner can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about 
Can you imagine? <laughs> I thank God for Daniel. Wakati he had before the king, he be a king, no wise man, no magician, <laughs> no diviners. Ambaya naweza nisikize can explain the king the mystery he has asked about. Daniel akahakikisha ametofautisha amedraw a line ya kwamba magician hawawezi. <laughs> Enchanters hawawezi, astrologers hawawezi, wise men they cannot. Amehakisha kwamba amedraw a line ya kwamba magicians they can't. Mimi si kati ya magicians. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. I like this. This is sweet. This is sweet. Ah. Ah. Yenekata kuonyesha mfalme wale watu wako unapenda sana. Hawawezi. Then akamwambia namna gani? Angalia verse 28. Verse 28. Mazeku yes. Verse 28 listen to this but 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 there is a god in heaven hey woo azama kama si wao there is a god in heaven can i tell you nimekuja kumwambia watu ambao mnasikiza there is god in heaven roke za loze kali zorisho waza there is god in heaven <laughs> there is god in heaven who reveals mysteries mimi nimekuja kusema there is god in heaven wakati madaktari wameshindwa there is god in heaven wakati president wakati governors wakati wakuu wameshindwa there is god in heaven Maraboko zebo shana asema there is god in heaven that god in heaven ndiye anaweza mimi nimekuja kusema there is god in heaven there is god in heaven wakati familia yako imeharibika na hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kusaidia there is god in heaven wakati kuna magonjwa umekunywa dawa na hata hauponi there is god in heaven ambaye anaweza kuponya wakati umetafuta kazi umebreka CV na hakuna mtu ambaye anakuita kazi nimekuja kukuambia there is god in heaven ambaye anaweza fanya upate hiyo kazi wakati wa Luto alisema kwamba umerogwa wakati wa watu watu wanasema kwamba hautawai weza nimekuja kukuambia there is god in heaven ambaye anaweza Daniel akamwambia mfalme Nebukadneza yes I know mama madeshe zuri kuambia kuna gods zinaweza but nataka at least nisisitize hapa mfalme it is not about gods it is about god a capital g in heaven they were calling him with a small g but nebu is good to understand mungu bana ongezu yake si wa small g ni wa capital g na wacha niwasaidie walisema kwamba hakaina mwili mimi nimekuja na revelation anakaa in heaven <laughs> ah. eh. but if ni leo nigeno nisema kwamba he lives in me <laughs> ah. he has shown nebukadnezar Ha. what will happen days to come your dream and the visions that passes through your mind as you lay on your bed are this kama mimi hivi umeona mfalme ah as we are lying there o king your mind turned to things to come and reveal of Mr. showed you what is going to happen. Anamuelezea kile kimefanyika. As for me, this mystery has been revealed to me not because I have I have greater wisdom than other living men. But so that you O king may know the interpretation and that you may understand what went through your mind. Oh, can you hear this? There is God in heaven 
who answers our prayer wakati kuna covid 19 there is god in heaven that is god in heaven now don't miss this now don't miss this the most important part don't miss this from verse number 31 don't miss this part very very important part don't miss this part don't miss this part now Oh shakora ziri malando bukoza angalia anataka kusoma na King James Don't miss this part verse number 31 Akamwambia kitu kimoja cha maana sana Akamwambia Nebukadnezar verse number 31 Thou O king sowest and beloved a great image This great image whose brightness was excellent and stood before thee and the form therefore was terrible Come on bia Nebuchadnezzar you saw an image before you image Oriona hey ilikuwa na brightness kubwa na ile image Oriona taka unisikize Nisikize. <laughs> Verse that too. This image hand was a fine gold. His breast and his arms silver. His belly and his thighs of brass. His legs of iron and his feet part of iron and part of clay. Listen to this. Kichwa ile image uriona ilikuwa na kichwa cha gold. Mikono na kifua silver. Taka unisikize. Berry and thighs brass but legs of iron and part of iron and clay. Kichwa umeona cha gold, mikono na kifua silver, berry na thighs brass but miguu iron and part of clay. That was the image you saw before you. Ha ha ha. sasa. Then don't miss this one part very important. Verse number that four, the heading of my sermon or teaching tonight. Thou so as tear that a stone was cut out without hands which is more the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. Then ile image ilipo kuja mbele yako then kukatokea jiwe ile jiwe halijakatwa na mikono ya binadamu jiwe likaja halikuoga kichwa na linatoka juu lilikuja likaoga miguu mahali kuna iron and clay then likaharibu ile image ikapondeka pondeka ile image then then nisikize sasa na unielewe hapa then was iron the clay and the brass the silver and the gold broken to pieces together and became like chaff of the summer dressing force and the wind carried i like this them away that no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth lile juri gonga ile image ikavujika vujika then kukada upepo weed ikaondoa kile to peace ikafagia kile peace ukakapabaki hapana kitu then lile jiwe likawa mlima mkubwa that was your vision that was your dream oh king nebuchadnezzar can you hear this this is a dream we will tell you the interpretation taka unitegee na unisikize sasa manaka this one is very important this one is very very important god aliabiwa alisema aliambiwa kwamba kila sehemu ni kingdom so kupitia kwa ile image alionyesha four kingdoms zile zitakuja 
akianzia na kingdom yake god follow this god ilikuwa ina picture babylon god ilikuwa ina picture babylon kitu cha god was babylon then mabega na kifua ta silver was mid persia meko persia was the kingdom of persia meko persia na was silver hapa was meko persia hivyo ndivyo aliambiwa then brass was greece brass was greece iron and clay was Roman Empire was Roman Empire So are you going to your four kingdoms kingdom of Babylon gold make up as silver brass Greece iron and clay Roman Empire kingdoms in there akaonyeshwa Then akaambiwa takunisikize very very important that was the image that image in the name of four kingdoms manake the third time ya nebukaneza babylon ilikuwa ni superpower from 605 to 539 bc was a superpower after babylon tutakifika tukifika chapter number 5 tutatambua after babylon babylon ilishindwa na mida persian wote pamoja 5 that 9 BC to 3 that 1 BC Meko Persia Mid Persian wakaja wakatawara then Mid Persian wakaja wakashindwa na Greece Alexander the Great you remember the story 3 that 1 BC to 168 BC that was Greece now from Greece that was rome from 168 bc to 476 ad that was roman empire so the image of nebuchadnezzar it could not show but the kingdom zitakuja kutawara babylon in tawara then meko basha meets and persian then greece then roman empire the four kingdoms But after that image out of going to those kingdoms woo akaonyeshwa stone that is not cut with human hands jiwe rikaja limetoka juu na hili jiwe halijakatwa na mikono ya binadamu limekatwa na mikono ya Mungu hili jiwe rikaja rikateremka likakuta that image Halikuonga kichwa likaoga miguu miguu nao ile image ikavunja vunjwa into pieces then lile jiwe likawa kubwa likafanya mlima mkubwa sana then akaambiwa lile jiwe umeona ule mlima umeona ni kingdom itakuja ambao sasa ita rain forever who was that stone That is stone was Jesus Christ and his kingdom. That stone was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ kama hilo stone. Ili kuja likaharibu the other kingdoms. Stone ili haribu the other kingdoms. But mark this. Halikuonga kichwa, liligonga miguu. Very important. Very important. Na don't forget kwa miguu kuna 10 toes 10 toes 10 toes Na those 10 toes there are 10 kingdoms Don't miss that one tutakuja hapo baadaye So rigonga miguu Likaharibu those kingdoms and I have come to Bikera tonight Jesus Christ is a stone himself na hakuna kingdom Woo! as long as Jesus Christ is on the corner any other strange kingdom in disappear so the stone in the story of babylon 
The stone, it may destroy Greece. The stone, it may destroy Middle Persia. The stone, it may harm Paka Rome. Man, okay, Jesus Christ, na kingdom yake, hakuna any other kingdom. It is a simama. Mahali Jesus ako. As long as Jesus Christ ame ingia, any other kingdom must bow. Any other kingdom must be broken. And I want to declare tonight, any other kingdom, ama inajaribu kutawala, haiwezi tawala as long as Jesus is there. Jesus Christ anaharibu any other kingdom. That's it. Ay, 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 ay. But let me go deeper here. Let me go deeper here. Let me go deeper here now. Takuni tege. Let me go deeper here. Takuni skize. Mpaka waleo. Na mpaka wakati Antichrist atakuja. Kutoka kwa kina kingdom zine ine zimetajua. Kuna kitu kili anza kutawara kwa kina kingdom ilikuwa na kuja. Maneka kutoka kwa Babylon. Kina kili tolowa pale mpaka leo inafotoa. It is a region of Babylon. Kile kilitoka kwa Babylon is a region of Babylon. Don't forget that. Ikaanza kufuatana kwa zile kidom zina zilikuwa zinaingia. Don't miss that one. Kutoka kwa Persia was the rule of Persian. Ilianza kufuatwa kwa kile kingdom, the rule of Persian. Kwa Greece, kile kilianza kufuatwa was the culture and the running of Greece. Ikaanza kufuatana kwa kile kingdom. Na kile kilifuata kwa Rome was a military character ya Rome military character ya Rome so kwa kila kingdom kuna kitu kilitolewa kwa kila kingdom kuna kitu kilitolewa kwa Babylon ni religion okay kwa Persia ni laws zikuwa zina stick kwa Greece ni kacha na running Then kwa Rome ni military character. Get that? So Jesus Christ akaja kama stone. But there are three aspects of Jesus kama stone. Aya yeah, Babylon ya region hiyo ya Nimrod. Niyo sasa. Hago ni tegena unisikize. Jesus Christ kama stone. There are three aspects of Jesus Christ kama stone. Number one. Number one. To believe us, to believe us, Jesus Christ is a foundation stone in whom we trust. He is our foundation, tried foundation. Isaiah 26. Isaiah 28 verse 16. Isaiah 28 verse 16. Isaiah 28 verse 16 Behold I lay a stone in Zion as foundation so to believe us to believe us Jesus Christ in his stone come a foundation kwetu mark that to believe us the foundation is stone mark that to unbelieve us aspect number 2 to unbelieve us Jesus Christ is a stumbling stone. A stumbling stone to unbelievers. To us, foundation stone. To unbelievers, stumbling stone. Isaiah chapter number 8, verse 14. Isaiah 8, 14. Isaiah 8, 14. And Romans 9, 33. Romans 9, 33. Romans 9 that 3. That's what the Bible says. Whoever falls on this stone shall be broken to pieces. Woo! Is a stumbling stone. The last aspect to nations. Time me a tribulation. He is a smiting stone. Smiting stone. Smiting stone to nations. Smiting stone. Smiting stone. Matthew 21, 44. Matthew 21, 44. Matthew 21, 44. 
So to nations, he is a smiting stone. That's why nations and a vulture vunda. To unbelievers, stubborn stone. But to us believers, our foundation. He is our foundation as a stone. He is a foundation. To unbelievers, stubborn stone. Mark that. To nation, smiting stone. There are three aspects that stone should need to understand there. And that's what we need to say about again. Excuse the hapa. That's how we can get here. We have to the reason why hariko wanga kichwa tako nitegea vizuri sana ni kwa sababu time Jesus Christ alikuja on the Babylon ilikuwa imepita mark that so hage wanga kichwa kwa sababu Babylon ilikuwa imepita that's why jiwa hige wanga kichwa mekopashi ya ilikuwa imepita mark that Greece ilikuwa imepita but Jesus Christ alizariwa time ya Rome migu can you hear that? Arizari wa time ya Rome ni guu. But now, there is on why specifically, amegonga migu mare, pala ni 10 nations. When I get is briefed, this time we are living now, there's what we call the revived Roman Empire, kuna remember 10 nations, zita asha, antichrist. But those nations, zita as antichrist, Jesus Christ come a smiting stone. Haja kuja kama smiting stone. This is a prophecy. Amo inakuja bad die. Time after mia kasaba. Nisikize. Ya tribulation period. That's the time Jesus Christ hata kuja. Manaka in Daniel chapter number 2. Nisikize. In Daniel chapter number 2. We have 10 toes. But in Daniel chapter number 7. We have 10 horns. And from the ten horns, we have a little horn. That little horn is Antichrist. Manak Antichrist anakuja from the ten horns or from the ten toes. Manak the ten toes speaks of the ten kingdoms. Amazina kuja. The ten horns is the same of the ten toes. Nesimekua recorded. Takam niskize. In the book of Revelation 12. That's what could ten horns. Daniel 7, ten horns. Then Daniel 2, ten toes. They speak of the same thing. And Christ. At a letter on ten nations. Zinokuja. Now from the ten nations, but Anatokea. Anatokea Pale. Then Jesus Christ, second coming yake, atakuja kama smiting stone. Na atagonga those nations, na ta defeat Antichrist. So kire kime tabiru mahali pale, hakija teneka. Hakija teneka. Mark that. Atakuja kama smiting stone. Manaka to believe us, he is not a smiting stone. He is a foundation. To unbelieve us, stumbling block. But to those nations, Amos is it Asha Antichrist hapa. She is Christ. Come a smiting stone atakuja hapa. Manako amekosa kumuamini atakuja na haribu wao. He is coming as a smiting stone. But he is our foundation. Hallelujah. Ten nations, ten toes. All connected with Rome. That's why Rome li migu. Narangu ni tege. Na kutuwa kwa migu kuna ten toes. Na kutuwa kwa ten toes. Antichrist anatomoka. Daniel 7. Kuna ten horns. From the fourth beast. Na fourth beast is Rome. Then from that beast. In the ten horns. Kuna tomoka little horn. Antichrist. And Christ. That's why even now I brief. Rome ime tumika sana. Na ime tumika sana tuasha. And Christ. Rome. Ime tumika sana for one world religion. Manaka from the ten toes. Rome ten toes. Then kuna ritu horn. But let me tell you. Jesus Christ. Stone that was cut. One was a stone cut, not without human hands. On the cross, Jesus Christ was cut on the cross. And you live on the cross. 
Bali si watu walimuoa, ni Mungu alimpeana akufe. That's it, akukatwa na mikono ya binadamu. Ni Mungu alimpeana Folas. That's why alikatwa ni jiwe limekatwa kwa msaraba. Is good when the sun. Have I just <laughs> So ni jiwe limekatwa. Kwa msaraba. Ni hapo alikatwa stone. Na mbona unasema na gani? Lile jiwe litagoga miguu kwa sababu rede kichwa kingdom ya baba limeondoka that time but it's still that image ukiangalia na version 13 kumetajwa mambo ya babylon that is spirit ambayo iko na operate mahali pale pashia imetajwa wakati kumetajwa bear lion tutaitabua tutaitabua tukifika na version adani uh, chapter number 7 That's why stone imegoga ten toes. Ten nations ambazo zitaasha antichrist. Zitaharibiwa na Jesus kama smiting stone. Time atakuja second coming. So ni kitu kijatendeka hapo. Then from there, hiyo stone kiharibu ten toes. What happened? Hiyo stone it can increase ikawa kingdom kubwa. What is that? That's millennium. That one is millennium. So hiyo stone ikawa kubwa ikawa kingdom gani tunaingia kwa millennium kingdom ya Mungu ina reign forever kwa millennium maana ke already nations zimeharibiwa na image imetolewa the stone now ina grow Jesus kingdom yake tunaenda nayo nao kwa millennium so kama stone ikija kusmite pale tunakuja na yeye Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Ha ha ha. Ah. Na sio haingegonga kichwa. So Babylon imepita. Imegonga miguu ten toes. The ten nations ambazo zitaasha and Christ. So wakati mahali unaona stone inakuja the second coming of Jesus. The second coming not rapture, second coming. Maneke as we are talking Jesus Christ siku agamiza na agamiza. Jesus Christ bado wanaokoa. Jesus Christ still amekaria kitu cha grace na nataka watu waokoke. Time ya judgment haijafika. As we are talking here is our stone as foundation tried stone sure foundation that's a stone to us to believe us stumbling stone but to nation smiting so that's why jiwe linakuja kuharibu nations hiyo ni second coming time sasa tufanye hivyo so it's good to kuelewa What is the meaning of that? Even if you are yabiwa, na kapoa interpretation. Thank God the kingdom now sees to us. The kingdom is in us. But kuna time atakuja kingdom yake itatawara all over the world. From Zion, from Zion, from Zion. Woo, Jesus. Daniel akapea na bukandeza that revelation ah praise the name of god and mark this after ile image i don't god manaka the stone who is jesus destroyed the false image Because this was a false image and Jesus was a true image. So there was a false image and there was Jesus who was a true image of invisible God. Can you hear this? There was a false image but when the real image stone Jesus came. Manakia is a real image. He is the image of the Father. 
image of invisible God. When the real image came, the first image was smashed down. Aha. Hey, man, like even in your life, once you receive Jesus, who is the image of God, any other false image must evaporate. He has a true image. Can I go deeper, kid dog? Let me just go deeper. Let me let me show you. <laughs> let me show you. He is a true image. Let me show you. I, this first image. Let's see. This first image in a nini, in a gold, in a silver, in a brass, in a iron, na in a clay. Five things. Can you see that? Those that was the first image. But the true image Jesus came. I can destroy the first image. Manaki is a true image. But the first image. An attacker could pass the gospel to us through that. Do you know what I'm saying? I am the real thing. I am the real thing now. Can I tell you why? Miss Kiza now. Listen to me. Listen to me now. Hey, Shagora Bokoza Bando Gozesha Malanda. Jesus Christ, he is a cray. Kre alifanyika kre binadamu kama Adam vessel alifanyika kama binadamu kama kre can you hear this eh alifanyika kre binadamu alifanyika kre kama binadamu kre alifanyika kama binadamu that's kre iron in the bible is a metal it is a metal of justice Iron in the Bible is a matter of justice. So Jesus Christ alifanyika kre, alifanyika binadamu. Follow me now. Oh. Irie alete justice iron. Alete justice. And alete justice na mnagani. Through brass judgment. Through judgment on the cross. That's a brass. Nisikize. And because of judgment on the cross brass. I'm alete silver redemption for us. And because of redemption, we're enjoying God glory. So he is a true image. They had the first image. He is a true image. He is a clay. Alifanyika binadamu. Iron arete justice. Not only that, nisikize. Akawa judge on the cross brass. For our redemption, silver. In it to enjoy God glory. He is a true image. He's master first image because he is a true image. Arifanika kre to bring iron justice. Akawa judged kom saraba. Akarata redemption and we enjoying his glory. He is a true image of invisible God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Listen to me. He is a true image of the invisible God. <laughs> ah. Ah. Now I'm going Take on it again. In the image of the image of Babylon, confession was destroyed. Can you listen to me? In the image, you remember God, I'm going to picture Babylon. Babylon, it's a gush on a stone. Maneke, what can you go with the Angukayote? Why? Maneke, Babylon means confusion. Maneke, Jesus Christ, I can hear Daniako, and now do confusion, Babylon. And our door Pasha division. Pasha means the division. And our door division Kwako. And our door Babylon confusion. And our door Pasha division in Haribiwa. Woo! And our door means <laughs> limitation not to be measured. Meats by the and our door meats. And our door Greece. Greece means unstable. And it's stable. And I don't understand. Resho bagari buzeka ramazanda. Are you hearing me now? Sasho sarama. Greece means unstable. 
inaondolewa kwako na ondoa room the name room means strength strength za kipepo zinatolewa so room strength grace and stable meet my garment or to be measured hello somebody pashia division babylon confusion he destroy those kingdoms that's my Jesus. And I'll do a division in you. And I'll do a confusion in you. And I'll do a hibu in you. Hey, and that's the spirit and the yako. Na I'll do a guvu za giza in your life. That mark this. Kira kapatko, kira kapis. Kira kamiharibiwa. Mena sama kama windi ilikunya. Ika ondua kira kapat, kana baki, kana gori, kana tolewa, kana fagiriwa na weed. Wini kaja ikafagia kapata ka miguu Rome kana tolewa. Wini nakuja inaondoa kapata ka silver kana tolewa. Kapata ka blues kana to wini kaja why? Wind there is a picture of the Holy Spirit. Maana kada Holy Spirit in you anafagia kila kibaya in your life. Woo! And the strange kingdom, kingdom of diseases, kingdom of stagnation, kila ufalme mbaya. Unajaribu kuattack your life as long as you have the Holy Spirit. Hey, hey, can you hear me now? The weed of the Holy Spirit in our door. Kira ka trace. Hey, shamago rivo saliba. That's where the weeds. We be kaja. Ika on door. Kila trace ilikuwa inabaki pale. Ya kapiska Babylon, wini naondoa. Hakuna confusion ilikuwa inapatikana pale. Hakuna division ilibaki. So ile false image ikafagiriwa na weed of the Holy Spirit. I declare you have the Holy Spirit in you. There is no straight image can enter you. Hey. hey. Woo! There is no strange kingdom can enter in your life. In a fagiru and a weed of the Holy Spirit. In a fagiru and a weed of the Holy Spirit. And I want to declare today, even COVID has no power. In a fagiru and a weed of the Holy Spirit. Umaskin has no power, Kwako. Una fagiru and a weed of the Holy Spirit. Wakati weed in Kuja, in a fagia. Manaka the weed of the Holy Spirit, in our door, Kira Kibaya. May the weed of God, may the weed of the Holy Spirit. He has a kuandua kira kibaya in your family. He has a kuandua kira kibaya kwa your business. He has a kuandua in the attack kwa toto wako. The weed of the Holy Spirit. Hey! Maroshe kete balando vosaya. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Ah. We did kuja. Nabukaneza kaona weed. Ikaja ikaondoa. Hakuna katrisi karibaki. When the Holy Spirit ameanza kufanya kazi, hakuna katrisi. Bible inasema vizuri sana. Hakuna katrisi karibaki. Hakuna kapisi karibaki. Maana Holy Spirit akaanza kufanya kazi yake, kile kibaya hakitabaki. Hakuna rana inaweza baki kwako. Come on. And because you have the Holy Spirit, I declare hakuna rana itaonekana kwako. Yes. 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 Come on, Labo Karaba. Woo! I feel like jumping. But I can the wind of the Holy Spirit right now. I breathe right now the wind of the Holy Spirit. Rako Rezekerima. Woo! Show Bagereba Zanda. Weed as a picture, as a type, as a shadow of the Holy Spirit. Ilion Doa. Kira Kapiska Koka Mebaki. Ukiangari Haugiona Kanakoma Parikona image. Manake windi mefagia. Holy Spirit akianza kufanya kazi. Kile kibaya kwa mataifa. Ay 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 ay. Utakuwa na ngari hii kulikuwa na COVID. Tuko tunasema zimefika 600. Out of uh, ngapi zimefagiriwa zimeondolewa. May the Holy Spirit afagie. Can you listen to me? May the Holy Spirit afagie kile kibaya. Hiyo kansa iko kwa mwili wako, wataifagiriwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Eh, hey, at the right is iko ndani yako, wataifagiriwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Come on, ndoto mbaya ziko kwako, wataifagiriwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Yes. Yes. Redemption iko kwako, wataifagiriwa na Roho Mtakatifu. 
Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I declare that. That is your portion in Jesus' name. Ah. My, 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 my. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Are we together? <laughs> hey. Hey. Yes. Yes. That's it. And let me tell you, the Holy Spirit is in you. And of the cousin in you right now as I'm talking. The Holy Spirit in you and on Doa Kira Kimbaya. Anything that is not planted of Jehovah God, the Holy Spirit in you, he is uprooting. Anything that is not planted of Jehovah, the Holy Spirit is uprooting right now. Anything that is not planted of Jehovah God, Holy Spirit is uprooting in Jesus' name. There are people kuna toba na nisikizo right now na kuna mbamu ambaya mengolewa kwao kuna isho zimuwasubuwa for so wrong mazi mengolewa maneke the Holy Spirit in them amefagia kile kimbaya in your life he is our sanctifier he is our purifier he purifies us he sanctifies us he sets us apart that's the work of the Holy Spirit. He leads us to all truths. Rabora ha ha. Woo! Shabora raka. Akuna uchowi hauna nguvu kwako. Uganga hauna nguvu kwako. Can I tell you something? Holy Spirit in you and the kazi right now. Oh. Woo! Shabora ra ra ra. Reboko zebagiri azoria rasho magaranda mazopa. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. Haya. Jehovah God. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. Wakati na marizia. After this revelation. After this revelation. Na mfanme kuambiwa kila kitu. I thank God. Woo. Verse number 46. That was the king Nebuchadnezzar. Fell. Prostrate before Daniel. And paid him honor. And ordered that an offering and incense be presented to him. The king said to Daniel, Surely you are God. Surely you are God. Surely you are God is the God of gods, the Lord of kings and the revealer of secrets. For you are able to reveal the mystery. I shake. I feel it in my spirit. Yakwama very soon. Kuna testimony wakubwa na toa. King Aribao before Daniel na katamka kasama Jua God, sure God is a God of gods. God is a God of gods. Listen to me now. God is a God of gods and the Lord of kings and revealer of secrets. For you are able to reveal the mystery. Even he himself akatoka na majina ya Mungu. Akajua he is the God of small g's. Ni mkubwa kuliko small g's. Not only that. He is the Lord of the kings and revealer of secrets. Come on. Come on. Very soon, even Wakubwa, they will testify about God. Kings, they will testify about God. Governors, they will testify about God. Hey. <laughs> and finally, then the king placed Daniel in a high position. Love is many gifts on him. He made him ruler over the entire province of Babylon and placed him in charge of all, all its wise men. I knew Daniel. But I thank God for Daniel. This is an amazing hapa. The last verse, and I said, Moreover, at Daniel's request, the king appointed. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, administrators over the province of Babylon, while Daniel himself remained at the royal court. Hakusahao intercessors wake. Ali nuliwa, akasema ata wao, wainuliwe. 
na kuna watu ambao huwa nasahau watu ambao wamekuwa na wao wakinuliwa na wameoba na wao walikuwa nafunga na wao hawakubuki may that one disappear in your life daniel alikumbuka watu ambao walikuwa naomba na wao that's the thing alikumbuka so we can say daniel was recognized made great man akafanyika mtu mkubwa that's it he was rewarded akapewa gift manake after kuomba ni after yale maombi maombi yanamfanya kuwa recognized maombi yalimfanya kuwa rewarded yamemfanya kuwa rura yamemfanya kuwa na rank kubwa na request yake kuwe granted na akawa kati ya wale ambao sasa ni royal in Jesus name <laughs> Well, for the head get away. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That was Daniel chapter number 2. Tomorrow Daniel chapter number 3. Don't miss it. <laughs> ah, may the wind of the Holy Spirit. Woo, shamagarivo sere bayanda. La koza bagalavusha. Baba tunakupa sifa katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Umetenda makubwa ndani ya mioyo yetu. Roho wako mtakatifu anafanya kazi ndani yetu. Father, we know you. Jesus Christ, thank you. You are our foundation kwa maisha yetu kwa ndoa zetu na kwa mambo yetu. Hakuna ufalme unaweza tawala kwetu. Wewe ndiye mfalme ndani ya maisha yetu. <laughs> Wewe ndiye unatawala ndoa zetu, watoto wetu baba. Kwenye mataifa yetu ndiye unatawala Bwana. Na kukajulikana hakuna kama wewe baba. Na kukajulikana kwa wakubwa hakuna kama wewe Jehovah God. Na kukajulikana Jehovah God hakuna makuliganisho na wewe. Na kukajulikana Jehovah God ni wewe. Ha. Mungu wa miungu ni wewe mfalme wa falme. Ni wewe unapeana mpaka amani Bwana. Kama vile na Bukeneza alikiri Bwana hai declare hata wakubwa watasema ni wewe Bwana. Hata wakati kuna COVID-19 Lord they testify you You are the greatest Jehovah God. Hao watu wananifuatilia Father. Natangaza kwa maana unatawala ndani yao. Baba Babylon confusion imevunjika. Pashia baba ime disappear. Division. Meets vana ime disappear. Aibu. Greece ime disappear baba kwa maisha yao in spirit. In Jesus mighty name. And I declare even Rome nguvu za kishetani zimeanza pia zile farms ziliangushwa baba zimeanguka kwa maisha yao they are raining live ile area umebaitia area ya career calling yao they are going to be established father kwa maana ni wewe unaongoza hawa na unaonekania katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba hata kuamini amen 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 You are there you have not received Christ. Sema katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ninaamini ufufuo wako. Na ninakiri kwa kinywa changu ya kwamba ewe Yesu ni bwana. Asante kwa kazi yako ya msalaba. Kukuniondolea dhambi zangu na kunifanya kiumbe kipya. Mimi nimeokoka. Na mimi sina dhambi tena. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo na mimi nimeokoka. Amen Father. Hawa ambao wameokoka ni watakatifu, ni viume vipya. Hawatawai baba. Hawatawai changanyikiwa. Roho wako mtakatifu ako ndani ya maisha yao. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Yes, God bless you so much. Mungu abariki sana kwa kufuatilia haya mafundisho kwa ku create watch party, kwa ku share. May you receive the grace of God. Mungu abariki sana. Asante kwa wale ambao wanashukuru hii kazi tunafanya hapa Mungu abariki sana. Asante kwa wale ambao wanasema kwamba we are going to support hii kazi. May God bless you so much. Nyinyi wa maana sana na mtazidi kuinuliwa. Tomorrow kuja marafiki watano. <laughs> Waili ya kwenu wa invite kuja hapa. Tuangalie Daniel chapter number 3. Daniel chapter number 3. Very interesting chapter. Kai. I'm longing kuitambua hiyo chapter. 
chapter number three. Very interesting chapter. Don't miss it tomorrow. God bless you, Evangelist. God bless you, Gerard. Master Queen Jeff, Josephine. Alpha, God bless you. So my number is 0726 511782. 0726 511782. If you are there, I want to give my offering. Yes. I want to just connect myself with that grace of that word. No problem. Baba I declare in Jesus' mighty name. Wala bwana guzo na hidi na bwana and they support e kazi. Natangaza ukazidi kwa panua. Baba natangaza ushindi wako baba and I declare majabu na hawa tawaikosa in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen amen. Joseph Macharia God bless you. Lucy Kageni, you're blessed. Mary, God bless you, Dokas. God bless you. I said, you know what about me? Rebecca, you know what about Paul of teachings. Sophia Grace, you know what about Thank you, Pastor. Grace, you know what about me? <laughs> Anasema tita koko kuma kuwa <laughs> Nibu za sawa kama Nita tasarimia ya sana <laughs> Jane Joyce <laughs> Wow 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 Yes Wasa ni yuna watu wakini watano before to Funge Farothi how are you doing <laughs> Mama Magi Joroge <laughs> Don't miss tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow. Tomorrow is more fire. It is double your leo. Tunawaka moto tomorrow. Esther. Ben Kim. That's my number, by the way. That's my number. If kuna issue, kuna so ties. Zina kusumua. Call me tomorrow. We break those so ties. If I would just kiss the topic in me. If kuna... No, 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 no. If kuna lot, we na kusumua. Ile tunaziri kuchambua pale kwa... Na farawudi kwa pale kwa nini. Kwa YouTube yake. Yeah. Now if I would follow this page, follow this page, follow this page. And unfortunately, I'm going to go YouTube, by the way. I'm going to go to YouTube, by the way. I'm going to go to YouTube, by the way. I'm going to go to subscribe pale kwa YouTube. I'm going to go to YouTube, in Jesus' name. Well, Priscilla, Sonny Heron, how are you doing? Priscilla, God bless you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mungo Barikisana, wacha nione. Waza, Karo. How you appreciate? God bless you so much. Ah, Ben, give us some marikiwa. Net Mugay na sumakomba. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Mungo Bariki, Mungo Bariki. God bless you so much. Yes. Hallelujah. Ya niandikie, niandikie. Nita kujibu niandikie, niandikie. Mama Keboaz, praise God. Glory to Jesus. So Mungo Bariki sana, God bless you. We meet tomorrow. To go Daniel 3. Daniel chapter number 3. As anime. So ni heri kuna dipeni ni judgment gani. So mi na baibu kuna judgment kama sita. Kuna judgment kama sita. Kuna judgment ya watu watakatifu. Iyo si judgment ya dambi. Ni judgment ya kazi yao. Iyo judgment ya kazi yao. Ya kama si sasa. Judgment yetu ujua kama ni nirapcha ni ile miaka saba. Kuna judgment ya nations. Mahali pale. So judgment ni sita. So ile tumeguzia pale ni judgment ya nations. Nations. Si ya believers. Ni ya nation na boy itakuja pale. Itafanyika mahali pale. Judgment ya nations. Ni kama aina za revelation. Ni kama aina za resurrection zile tulitaja. Kama sita au saba kwa baibu. The same way, the same case applies to. By the way, okay, angalia this page of mine. Referred covers. Uwendo wangalia kuna mahali, by the way, utona kwa ba ni meweka judgment zote na order. Vile zita fuatana. Kwanzi ya kwanza mpaka ya sita ziko hapo. Ya enda kwa my page. Angalia those judgment mezi ya dika zoko sabu. Iyo that's another topic. So I don't want to nini. But nifuetlie. Tukifika Daniel chapter number 7 taona all. Angalia samoni yangu ya judgment. Kwa sabu kuna samoni yangu kwa judgment. Nimechambu about judgment. Utaziona. All still. Hapa kwa page. Nimeandika those judgment. 
na ziko kabisa zote sita. Bali sita zichambua tena tukifika Daniel chapter number 9 there. Daniel chapter number 9 there. Bali ukitaka kujua by the way still unaweza niandikia message takufuadia those judgment ziko na utazijua zaidi. So God bless you Mungu abariki sana mi tomorrow shalom